Did you feel that quake? That question was likely asked thousands of times across much of Maine and New England today as a tremor got lots of people's attention. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Brian Yukono. The U.S. Geological Survey says that earthquake registered a magnitude of 3.8 and it originated eight miles deep. It wasn't only felt here in southern Maine, by the way, but also the rest of New England and as far away as Pennsylvania. The brief quake was caught on someone's home security system in the town of York, not far from the epicenter. This video was sent to the Near Me section of our website. And the quake rattled everything but the kitchen sink in this beach house in York. That video, also from a security camera, was sent in by Ali Bowden. Thanks to you. News Center Maine's Alex Haskell has been following this story for us. He's in Old Orchard Beach tonight with more. Hi, Alex. Hi, Amanda and Brian. Yeah, the epicenter where this earthquake hit is miles behind me off the coast of York Harbor. Many people reported feeling this, some describing it like a train going through their home. What the heck was that? A shaky morning in Maine as a 3.8 magnitude earthquake thunders across the state and parts of New England. I was enjoying the sunlight coming through the window in my bedroom. That's when Wells resident Marilee Dowling says she began to feel it, starting out as a low rumble. Coming up through the floor and up into the walls and my bed shook. Dowling says she jumped up to see what just happened. There was no train going by, there were no trucks, and I said, we've just had an earthquake. Oh, it is. Across town, the seismic activity rocking the Bjorndal household. At first, my wife thought something happened down in the basement. I said that would have to be a big problem because that was a, you know, a fairly good shake. But it didn't last long. Although shocking to some of those who felt it, state geologist Ryan Gordon says Maine is no stranger to earthquakes. So we get um, a handful of earthquakes every single year around the state in Maine. He describes this one as small to moderate in size. The quake was first reported being much larger as a magnitude of 4.1. It was eventually downgraded to 3.8. The kind of change Gordon says is common. As more data comes in and as seismologists talk to each other and share the data, um, they can make better calculations. Which he says happened in this case. With no significant damage or injuries reported, this will most likely end up being just a memorable experience for Mainers. It's always interesting. Now, following this earthquake, no tsunami threats were reported, and Gordon adds he'd be surprised if this caused any significant damage. Brian Amanda. Alex Haskell, live on the story that has a lot of people buzzing today in Old Orchard Beach. Alex, thank you.